Former police officer serving prison time for murdering a teenager was ordered to pay millions of dollars to the victim's family today. A jury only deliberated a few hours today before deciding Roy Oliver violated Jordan Edwards' civil rights. Oliver shot and killed Edwards in 2017 while responding to a rowdy house party. Watch for Stephen Dial live tonight with reaction to that verdict. Stephen. The attorney for the family says that this type of verdict in a civil case is unique when it comes to a former officer. Jordan Edwards' father told me that they can finally have some closure now that the criminal and civil cases are over. I'm just glad it's all over with. That was the reaction from Odell Edwards after a jury awarded his family more than $21 million in damages. Edwards' son, 15-year-old Jordan Edwards, was shot and killed by former Balk Springs officer Roy Oliver. Oliver was responding to a rowdy house party, and Jordan Edwards was a passenger in a car when Oliver fired at it after hearing gunfire. The shots were later determined to have come from a nearby nursing home. Oliver is currently serving a 15-year prison sentence for Edwards' murder. I don't think there's been another case in the country where an officer was convicted, then had to come for a civil trial because in most cases, there's a settlement. A Dallas County federal jury determined Oliver has to pay $10.6 million in compensatory damages, more than $8 million to Odell Edwards and more than $2 million to his son's estate, and $11 million in punitive damages. Cameras are not allowed in federal court. Oliver waived his right to be in the courtroom when the verdict was read. Odell Edwards says while he is pleased with the decision, money was not the goal. It never been about the money. It's just, you know, just bringing justice for my son. Uh, that can't, money can't bring him back. I'd rather have him sitting right here next to me right now. Oliver took the stand Monday, and he once again said in his opinion the shooting was justified and said, quote, I have to stand by what happened. After the verdict, Oliver's attorney had no comment for reporters. Odell Edwards had one final message to law enforcement following the verdict. Just thank me for you had. Oliver will be eligible for parole in a couple of years. The legal team for the Edwards family says they hope that this civil decision and the murder conviction play a role when it comes to the parole board considering it.